And we're here at XM Satellite Radio, getting ready to broadcast. Well, I guess we are broadcasting because we're talking. So, yes, we are broadcasting live at XM Satellite Radio. Yes. And it's hoodie day, by the way. So. Yeah. We'll plan this one for months, I think. Yeah. Finally, the day is here. <laughs> Other people are calling it uh, Super Tuesday. We're calling yeah. it Hoodie Tuesday. We got our hoodies up. Hoodies are up. It's also because it's cold in here. <laughs> Sam, hoodie up. It's yeah. Hoodie Tuesday. Hoodie Tuesday. Try to pull it up over that afro. Look at him. <laughs> no, oh, my God. Is, your hood is all poofy. <laughs> yeah, it, it holds your uh, hood up, your afro. Your head's making Jiffy Pop popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got there, Sam? Young Sam? Sam. We have our contestants for Car Crash Comedy. Yeah, we're doing Car Crash Comedy. Uh, what, for uh, Comics Come Home? Uh, not uh, for... Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> uh, for uh, Last Comic Standing, sorry. Last Comic Standing. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, this will be a, a, a chance to audition for them. Yeah. Yes, it means you don't have to wait in the really long line. You go to the front of that line. Yeah. Oh, right we're doing some of the comedians a favor? Steve, what's the deal? Dan, what's the deal? Oh, boy. <laughs> I guess Than was doing a good job, and I should just continue with Than. I'm sorry, Than. Than right. knows everything. Uh, yeah, hoodie up, by the way. Hoodie up. It's Hoodie Tuesday. My bad. Yep. Oh. <laughs> My bad. All right. Hoodie Tuesday. Hoodie Tuesday. <laughs> um, yes, um, five of our lucky contestants will end up going to the front of the line for Last Comic Standing uh, this Thursday. But we only have five contestants out there. Yeah, it's, the odds are good. <laughs> <laughs> They're in their favor. <laughs> <laughs> We have about ten. Yeah, so. we have ten official uh, competitors. One of them is our own intern, Adam. Adam. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, Adam, who's also a, kind of a... Uh, I was going to call him a star. Oh, my God. How stupid am I? Uh, a participant on the uh, Than and Sam show. Yes, he was a participant. You on guys this. are being mentioned in the blockbuster trade, by the way. I guess we got to like acknowledge that. Really? There's going to be a blockbuster trade going down with the Ron Fez show and our show. Well, we hope so. And uh, you... You two are coming up a lot. Well, we're, we're primetime players. But, yeah. s but stupid Ronnie threw a monkey wrench into the whole thing. He, he said he, he would only do a blockbuster trade if we get Earl no matter what. So whatever the trade uh, is, plus Earl. That's an instant loss for us. Yeah, absolutely. We don't want Earl. No. Had it with Earl. But a blockbuster trade is going down. Well, it would be fun to have Earl on our show for, for a while. For a week, maybe. Well, I, maybe How long is the blockbuster trade going to go for. Hmm. Could go forever, but I think realistically it'll be about a week or so where we're going to completely not completely, but we're going to change some uh, guys out. That's more than more like um, trading uh, spouses, that show where, where you send your, your wife over to some other family and then you get their wife. And right. each employee would have to write like a journal of what they do on a regular day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And and then obviously our guy or girl, whatever. Well, we don't have a girl. Our guy would have to come back. What is the name of that show? Wife Swap? There's two, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's the same so show. We'll yeah, it's the same stupid show. All right, we'll call our version Dummy Swap. Dummy Swap? <laughs> <laughs> dummy Swap. And our dummy would come back and then talk about their experiences over there. Yeah. And, uh, of course, Ron and Fez would talk about their experiences with our dummy. And then we would do the same. Right. Um, but with Earl, oh, I just have to deal with Earl for a week. No. It's no. completely incompetent from what I hear. It's just gotten worse. My, and, my hoodie's too big. I can barely is see your hoodie it. too big? <laughs> it is drooping in front of your eyes. <laughs> what the hell, man? Pull it back a little. <laughs> there trying. you go. Jesus. <laughs> What freaking... I'm going blind on Hootie Tuesday. Hootie. Hootie. Hootie Tuesday. I oh. hate Hootie Tuesday. Is Hootie. it Hootie Tuesday? Oh, no. I thought it was Hootie Tuesday. <laughs> By the way... <laughs> oh, ah, he's real quick back there. <laughs> oh, shit. God. A fast God's hand would have been perfect. Not Hootie Tuesday. It's not Hootie Tuesday. It's Hootie Tuesday. Oh, the moment is I so gone. I thought it was Hootie Tuesday, though. Oh, God. Uh, Why? Uh, <laughs> Who's on the board? A dummy that's going to Ron and Fez. <laughs> yeah, Butcher, you're done. You're already in the blockbuster trade. If a Hootie song comes on now, I'm going to run in there and just kill everyone in that room. I swear I'm just going to stab them. <laughs> why is Butcher on the board if he doesn't stuff? <laughs> it's just too late. But why is he still on the board? <laughs> oh, no, okay, I got to kill oh, wow, people now. Geez, that's... I got to go. Wow. Is it? 
<laughs> Hootie Tuesday? It sure is. <laughs> little, 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 little. Well, I thought it was Hoodie Tuesday. All right, that makes no sense. Uh, all right, get that off. Ziggy, Jersey, what's up? Guys, yeah. I want to say thank you for Paisano's of Mulberry Street. They do have an excellent food. And they also have a give you that glass of wine with every dinner that you get that, that you take. Um, what I mean, year is this? What year is this, really? Uh, yeah, it's 2008. Joey sold that restaurant. Hold enough. on a minute. This is for the people that like lingering, lingering. Or, uh, Joey sold that place well over a year ago. Oh shit. <laughs> and I'm sure whoever he sold it to, because I think he uh, he kept it in house. Some some of the guys they moved up and they bought the place from Joey, and yeah. they were all terrific there. So I'm not trashing. Yeah, we liked Paisanos whatsoever. But Joey is long gone. He's he's out of Little Italy. He's got a joint in uh, where uh, uh, Rockville Center. Rockville Center. That's amazing. Called Aqua. Aqua is amazing. It's so fucking, fucking good. good, man. Yeah, but Joey's out of Paisano. Actually, he uh, he also bought a pizza joint. Did he? Yeah, close to the Nassau Coliseum, so. Yeah, guy right. is an entrepreneur. They still, what? They, they still doing that. They still give you that glass of wine with dinner, though. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you very much, guys. All right, bye. Uh, Jimmy, it's it's uh, Hoodie Tuesday. Yeah. Where's, where's, oh, I like that. Where's your hoodie? It's too warm in here. No, I, it isn't. Yes, I'll put cold. a clit hoodie over my head. I, uh, <laughs> a clit hoodie. Thanks, Ed. I thought that bombed. Uh, <laughs> I just did a phone to Coop and Tobin in, uh, in Poughkeepsie, and they say hello. They're actually fans of the show. Yeah, oh, very, very they? cool. Oh, they really are. Whatever. They were doing Uncle Paul references. Oh, were they really? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Creeps. We love Uncle Paul. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Send the police over there, then. Yeah, yeah, they were very cool. Very nice. We got a bunch of comedians outside yes. on the bleachers. They're getting ready for car crash comedy, and our own Adam, or Than and Sam's Adam, who also uh, interns on our show, he's going to be in the competition. Wow. Which one is he? Uh, I, don't, I don't know if I met him. I Adam don't... danced on, uh, the, what, Dance Dance Fridays yes. with Jill? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> we could easily do another hour on Adam, but we got to get to the uh, the comedians yeah. for Car Crash Comedy. Are you one of the comedians? Yes. And oh, so is you Adam, are. by the way. I'm sorry? Oh. Yeah. Shelly is. is. Adam. Yeah. Sorry. Well, Adam. that's who I was, I was asking. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah How long are you doing comedy? Short time, like six months. Okay. Six yeah. months? What made you decide to go into that? Mm. Self loathing? I don't know. <laughs> really? Self loathing? <laughs> no, I yeah, I just never Little? had the balls. I just always wanted to do it and really? finally grew a pair. You got a good family? Dad, mom, or yeah, they divorced? Really? <clears> enough. really? Yeah, supportive. It's fucked up, Ugh. I know. Ugh. I know. You got I a know. father? Yeah. Nah, get the fuck out of here. I know, right? Hate girls with fathers. Yeah. Don't you all? Don't they know how to say no. It's yeah, depressing. I know. <laughs> all that pesky integrity. There's yeah. just that shit there because <laughs> the they're always compass. thinking about their their father and they got to go home to and you can't fucking, you know, kiss them with the mouth that just, yeah. You know. What? Did that? <laughs> <laughs> all right, we got to have a hard time with all that. <laughs> we really have to take a break. So Adam, we'll see you during car crash comedy after the break. And uh, how many guys we got? Like ten, and we got ten guys. Cool. All right, we'll explain the whole thing next. Stay there. Yeah, yes, it's Hootie Tuesday. It's the Opie and Anthony Show. Patrice O'Neill in house. Jim Norton, of course, here. Playing bananas in uh, Poughkeepsie? Yes, this Friday and Saturday. I might fucking go to that show. You should, man. You're going to be up in the area doing something. I'm going to be really close. <laughs> in between spa treatments. <laughs> <laughs> spa. <laughs> Fancy, man. Uh, all right, it's Car Crash Comedy. We got last comic standing. We're giving these guys a shot to go right to the front of the line for the New York auditions. Right? Correct. And uh, it's something we created a while ago. We love this little bit. It's uh, We get the comedians in, and if they could survive uh, two minutes without hearing three car crashes, mm -hmm. they're doing good. Yeah. They're doing good. Oh, that's how I forgot. You, I fucking forgot how it worked like a dope. And yeah, Anthony's the, car the official crash. car crash guy. Oh, but... Why doesn't it work? Oh boy, we need it to work Are you today. Kidding? Certainly do. Can we have more water, please, from someone? Yeah. Hit it again. Thank Ed. you. Well, it's going, but it's not. Uh, no sound is coming out of it. Wow. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Mine's uh -huh. working. Yeah, mine isn't. Sure plug what in. happened? All right. Plug That's, it in. That I thing right there. Look, that plug is. Yeah, but it's all wrapped up and. Where's Mar? Where's Mars? Plug in there. Mars, yeah. can this is, Mars, the machine's broken. Mars, Mars, help us. Mars, Mars please. Mars, please. Mars. Mars. Thank you. I, uh... Ah, I, bah, I, uh, uh, fiddle, fiddle, fiddle. Uh, I, uh... Mm, turn it on? Uh, hands on the hip. Uh, <laughs> um, hmm. <laughs> 
Uh, uh, well, you might want to uh, uh, plug it in. Uh, jiggle this. Is that not plugged in? This. I, uh, off on, off on, off on. Tap, tap, tap. Fiddle, fiddle, fiddle. Try that. And try that. No. Wow, wait. Everyone's going to kill. <laughs> study, study, study. Intense look. Walk around to this side. Make this noise. Ah, just a couple things over here. Ah. For, just for the record. Yeah. I love my new fucking Blackberry already. What's this? <laughs> What's this? Yeah. Ant's got live wires over there, Mars. You might want to take a look at that. This was just hanging here. Uh, I don't know what that is. All That's right. Fudge. Now what, Mars? Oh, yeah. Mine works. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Push a button. Try it for yourself. All right. Mars. Look, watch this. Here comes Club Soda Candy. Oh, yeah. Club Soda Candy. Hey, why are you taking mine? Hey. No, it doesn't work. Ah, that's the emergency what? procedure. All right, all right, mine works. All right, but now we have the same problem, but you just got to switch the guy's names around. See, now mine doesn't work. Now <laughs> yours doesn't Holy work. shit, we could have done that. <laughs> but we didn't. Uh, Mars, why don't you try, um... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it sucks. This is how I know Mars is clueless right now. Because <laughs> I said, why don't you try, and he looked at me hopefully. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> why don't we try? Yes, I'll entertain any uh, ideas. Eyebrows go up. Yeah, huh? Well, baby Jim got an electrical engineering degree. Nothing <laughs> but just dropping out of high school and telling dick jokes for the last 20 years. Nothing but hope in his eyes. Oh, it was awful. <laughs> just the worst. What? Can we leave it like that? Hey, you're the boss, I guess. Sure, why not? For, um... I don't need buttons today. For now. It's my only job, obviously. See, so he finally admitted it. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I can't push buttons today, so I'm completely useless. Wow. <sighs> well, no. Nah. Uh, one of those? You wouldn't think one what of those What are you doing? What are you doing, Mars? Mars, what are you doing? Mars, please. Another idea. Another please. idea? Wow. That would mean you had one idea. Exactly. <laughs> Another oh, wow. implies a first. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is rough. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. You do realize we're live on the radio, right? Yes. Okay. That's right. Good. <laughs> we're a commercial for Sirius right now. <laughs> I, uh... Yeah, mine still doesn't work. <laughs> and... <laughs> That's wonderful. So cool. take, take the power away from me and give it to Ant. That's that's nice. Wonderful. All right. <laughs> Mike, he's, un, he's under the console Can I ask now. Can question? Was yours working in answers, bro? Yeah. yeah. Uh, now mine just, just switched. Not mine, Why bro? did Mars do that? Because. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why did so you again, do that? Because mine's fixed. Because he's got he's the car crash. He's incompetent. Well, Ant's got the car crash. <laughs> well, Ant's the car crash. Yeah. Right. Yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You uh, never were a car crash guy. No. no. I'm oh, not okay. a car crash guy, but I, I could be like, you know, can laughter guy. <laughs> I could be Kelsey Grammer falling down guy. I could be o okay terrific oh, guy. Oh, shit, yeah. All so nothing's stuff. working now. No, we kind of need both machines for this bit, I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably. Mars doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> he's plugging things in like my father on Christmas morning. <laughs> He has no idea what he's doing. The he's password is incompetent. He's as confused as Adam's sexuality. <laughs> oh. Maz has serious... All right, now mine doesn't work again, and Opie's works. <laughs> All right, now mine's All right, back Opie, give it a try. <laughs> All right, Opie's All right, good. Hold on, and it works. here we go. There One thing's go. being plugged in. All right. Okay. And let me know. Pulls it off in the end. My man. Nice. There you go, Ma. No yeah, one's nice. more surprised than he is. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> good job, Mars. All right. I like the Mars. Yep. He's a he's a good egg, as they say. With his oh. crying litter Indian face. <laughs> hey, one. Are right, you guys ready? The mic being here is a little weird though, because they're only performing to us. Yeah, they should be performing kind of the. The group. Yeah, have them just kind of uh, way back. And comics love nothing more than just performing for other comics because they're such giving audiences. Well, why don't we bring some of our guys in to pepper it with real laughter because these guys aren't going to laugh at anything. With real laughter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's real. Why don't we bring some of the gang in? Yeah, get it. we have a whole bunch of guys out there. Who's that guy just standing out there with the, uh, in the fucking hallway? Um. All right. Can you just sit down? Uh-huh. 
What's what's that kid's name? Do. Oh, Sanjaya. Oh, Carl. Right here. What? <laughs> Saeed. Uh-huh. And he have a twin that has that's on a mice bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> Will you come on? Wow, these guys look like a comedy audience, too, that we just brought in here. <laughs> Jesus, you guys are fucked. Cool. <laughs> You're <laughs> fucked, man. Wow. Is no one else? To yes. check this out. I'm just looking at that very natural, <laughs> tight <laughs> jeans way of saying. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you sing the Star Spangled Banner before we get this going there, sweetie? <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. And cool. Than's the uh, MC for Car Crash Comedy. So, Than, set this up again. Right. I, I really, I haven't paid attention to this bit. I got to be honest with you. Sure. Um, well, basically, each comedian will do two minutes of material. Okay. If they have a joke that does not go over very well, mm -hmm. they will hear the car crash, as okay. indicated by this. Can everybody hear that? It's got to come through the speakers. Great. What, what do you want me to do in this bit? Um, just morale, general morale. Keep it high. I'm good at morale. Keep it high. Keep, it high. <laughs> Keep the energy up. I'm good at morale. Um, no? Are you not? <laughs> Terrible. There's no one I've ever met who's worse at morale. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I said, yeah, I was waiting for you, Jimmy. Jesus. Um, uh, yeah, so if you make it through your whole set with hearing <clears throat> three car crashes, then you have succeeded in yeah. your set. And then in the end, I guess uh, we're going to just pick five guys? Yeah, all of the judges have a uh, list of the oh. comedians in front of them. Good. A writing utensil. Okay. And we'll do it. We'll do a little whispering, and then we'll announce the five guys that are going to go to the front of the line for the last comic standing auditions here in New York City. Correct. Bob DeBono. I didn't see you here, man. How are you? What's up, buddy? I didn't fucking know you were here until I just saw your name. You been here the whole time? Yeah, I got here late. Oh, okay. Yes, I'd like to quickly thank Wayne from Stand Up New York for helping me get some of these guys together. Wayne Rader from Stand Up New York. That guy. I like uh, the Stand Up New York club. Yeah. All right. Where I'll be playing on the 13th through the 16th. I? Sorry. I'm just, I was just saying, I was playing through the 13th and the 16th. I was just going to be there with Wayne who helped us with all the comics here today. <laughs> I'm not plugging anything. I'm just saying where I was going to be and say hi to everybody. It's on 78th and Broadway. It's yeah, actually a good club. Yeah. Oh, yes. The comics all hold up one finger when there's one minute left. Cool. That's all the right. system. <laughs> okay. All right, ready? Uh, all right. Than, you want to do a little uh, warm up? Do I ever? <laughs> <laughs> hey, how's it going? Boo. Nice. Boo. <laughs> I, yeah, boo him. I feel sexy. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Jim? That's awful. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah, my name's Nathaniel. Um, and uh, it's a uh, biblical name. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> laughing at nothing. And um, it's a biblical name. Uh, my parents tell me it means gift of God. I guess they couldn't find a name in the Bible that means shortcomings of the rhythm method. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it just goes, oof. Don't be afraid of that button, Ant. I, I can't tell. Uh, I, uh, oh, you do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> hmm. All right, off to a good start. Um, uh, what did... What? <laughs> Shortcomings of the rhythm method? Yeah. yeah. That means like his parents were having sex. <laughs> yeah. And they were practicing the rhythm method, but yes. they messed up and, and like she got knocked up with him. <laughs> so they couldn't name him honestly. Which Get it? I see. Okay. Yeah. Right. See, it's really funny, right? <laughs> um, Th that joke actually made me tired. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. I think they're warm. Yeah. My that face, is red. My face sure is. <laughs> that is red. Oh, shit. Oh. What's going on, Than? I just take us inside what's going on in your head. A little I'm uncomfortable right now? Very uncomfortable. <laughs> it's just like an open mic, but on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> Which kind of makes me want to die. Uh, well, congratulations. <laughs> oh. The fan is funny. Come on. Um, I'll, I guess I'll try one more to... Oh, really? Hey, fan, could you do me a favor? I've never seen you. Could you deliver it with the same fucking gusto as if there was 300 people and you're trying to be funny? If um, it's possible. I'll try. This different joke or just the next Anything joke? Anything you want to do. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. I, don't know. I just want to get a sense. 
You can, uh, you okay. can turn around and perform to the window if it helps you. Yeah, it might. Sure. <laughs> Couldn't be any worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm not shit on thin. I'm thin to talking to a bunch of comedians. I understand. Thanks, Jim. Um, <laughs> I get... No. I'm getting requests from the peanut gallery. No. Um, I play a lot of video games. Anybody else? Yeah. No, sure. None of you comics play video games. Um, I... Uh, I think I play too much because, um, you know how there's a, a feature that keeps track of the minutes played on a video game? The one I'm playing right now under, uh, oh god, I made it too wordy, Jim. No, you didn't. That was perfect. <laughs> oh, holy. That yeah. was perfect. Yeah. Slowly meander with the audience. They like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every fact was so interesting. Slowly <laughs> <laughs> me Andrew with the audience. Uh, oh no! What's up? <laughs> well, no, what was the joke? It doesn't matter. Who cares? There's no, it's a goof. Instead of a number under uh, hours <laughs> long, it just says kill oh, yourself. Oh man! Fan's <laughs> mouth is drying up. Do you hear the? <laughs> oh, oh, oh my. God, Than. Yeah. Than's a funny dude, though. That's I believe, I believe it, but I can't joke. believe he's in this. a funny joke. Yeah, I but, just fucking... Oh, yeah. Whatever, you know, it's just national radio. <laughs> <laughs> and you got Ron Fez listening, too, and we're thinking of that blockbuster trade. That you're not uh, helping your cause here. Oh, well. Or maybe you are. Maybe you just want to stay with us. Yeah, I love you guys. That's It's all deliberate. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, let's get on with car have, crash comedy. Oh, you got another Don't joke. forget about the second part of that awesome joke. Okay. I'm sticking with it, Ope. All right. Um, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, I actually get in fights with my girl about video games uh, because she wants me to sell back some of my games for money and, uh, you know, go out to dinner or something. And I'm like, sure, maybe I could sell back ten of my games at five bucks a piece. But then again, you are filled with thousands of dollars worth of fertile eggs. <laughs> There's something I, I like it. There's something missing from it, but I do like the fact that he's saying sell your ovaries. <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. So conceptually, it's funny, just not an actual practice. No, I mean, it's just something. It's, just, right. it's not bad. <laughs> All right. Quickly, I must say here it is. As a guy that's been doing comedy 15 years, sure. Produce. You have smarmy delivery with non smarmy jokes. <laughs> <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. You're a little too geniusy with your delivery. Okay. You're impressed with yourself. Just deliver it like, bitch, sell your eggs. Sell your, your, your eggs are worth more than blah, 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 instead of you have thousands of dollars worth of eggs. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Charlton Heston, just fucking <laughs> deliver the joke. Patrice is implying that you're <laughs> actually... <laughs> no, he, didn't, he nailed it. He didn't uh, imply anything. Well, no, but, but I, I think he's skirting around the oh issue. <laughs> That's what it is, Stan. It's fantastic. It's, 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 stop being impressed with yourself. Okay. All right, All right fair enough. Stop being All impressed right. with yourself. So, you guys ready for your first act? Yeah. Yes. Woo! Coming to the stage. Are you saying that Stan was trying, he's trying to, <laughs> oh, in a way, <laughs> cover his enthusiasm and joy with irony? <laughs> <laughs> like the fact that you, you have really, a point. You know? I think, I think, you, yeah, I think you hit it. I'm not shit on you. Yeah, I know. Well, Something he wants to sit down so badly right now. Why? Oh, boy, does he. Just doesn't want to be at that mic. All right, sorry, buddy. Let's go. He performs all around New York City. Very funny guy. It's here for Daniel Chakrin. Woo! Not as tall as Stan. Uh, I used to be a corporate lawyer, and uh, to deal with it, I just started drinking Jack Daniels all day. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was drafting billion dollar contracts blacked out uh, I was sober up once in a while just long enough to be like again who are we fucking uh, I know you guys probably do coke to have some fun at a party uh, and the moment the sun comes up in the morning you're like eh, that's enough for me no not me I was doing lines of coke at noon because when you yeah when you draft a billion dollar contract you can't do it without a line of coke and not because of the billion dollars but because you have to be there at 7 a.m. Oh. But uh, I quickly just bottomed out from all the uh, coke and alcohol, and uh, now I'm out of work, uh, and I collect disability. And yeah, I take a lot of naps. Uh, I order delivery. And even without a job, I've got so much anxiety that I can't even open my mail. And that really sucks because my disability check comes in the mail. So, uh, I just think. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was waiting for the so uh, so uh, <laughs> so, uh <laughs> I want to see where, where he's going oh, after that. So I just lie in bed all day and I watch porn. That's it. Just a lot of porn. Uh, just porn. And uh, I, I'll go out once in a while at night to see if I can meet a real girl. But I'm confused from watching porn all day. Where are the 19-year-old Asians who need lots of fucking sex? Where? Where are they? Where are they? Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh, that was three. That yes. Was three. Uh, yeah. well, that hold on. was three. Hold on. Oh Yo. This is, this is uncomfortable. Wow. <laughs> you, um, yes. I actually, uh, you just kind of stated a bunch of facts. <laughs> um, <laughs> now the critique Although comes I in. found his life to be pretty fucking interesting. It just, I would say the jokes were not really great, but I, it was, it, are you sober? Yes. Oh, cool. How long? Uh, two years. All right, cool, man. I found that to be very interesting that he was a lawyer and, uh, you know, fucking blacked out. But, you uh, just fucking shut up, you ex junkie. Stop trying to relate to oh, him. I, no. I, I, that's exactly what it is. I'm bonding with him on a human level. Jim, <laughs> um, I got a question for Jim. You think uh, this guy, um, I don't know, liked Coke back oh, in the day? Oh, my God. I think he loved it. <laughs> 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 but um, I just I found it to be interesting. Although you know, the, you might you probably get to the punchlines a little faster, or, or at all. All right. So. <laughs> yeah, just all right. imagine you still on coke. <laughs> <laughs> just tell super bad to sit down. Let's hear it for Daniel. Daniel. Yeah, all right. right. All right. We're gonna keep the st the comedy rolling right along here. Let's hear it for Mark Blackman, everybody. Oh, yeah. Someone called me Nerdzo yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I, I recognize that's the impression that I give. A, a little nerdy, a little bookish. In fact, I get a lot of pussy. I mean, like, it's really, really hot girl pussy. Pretty much, I don't even like to talk about it. It's like my life. You know, it's what I have to deal with all day, every day. Just pussy and fucking... Yeah, you can't even walk outside without like pussy throwing themselves at me outdoors and windows and every angle. It's it's tough. You know, like fourteen vaginas at the same time, all trying to eat my face. It's it's all right, but there's only so much pussy one man of my stature can take. I uh, I've been auditioning for Beauty and the Geek recently. <laughs> I'm actually really excited about it. You know, it's finally a show for us, for, for guys like me. <laughs> I got a call from a woman from the show yesterday. She said, I, I don't know. I don't know if you're going to be geeky enough. Hey, that's like the best compliment I've gotten all year. But on the other <laughs> hand, on the other hand, who the fuck are you to tell me I'm not geeky enough? Did, did you even read my application? All right? I was in the math team in high school. I was a captain. We went to states. We called ourselves the mathletes. It's like an athlete minus everything athletic. I own 14 different Zelda games. All right? And beating them all in record time. Published Nintendo Power. Thank you guys very much. I've been Mark Black. <laughs> this guy, he was a genius. This guy. Yeah. He, he had a technique where you didn't quite know when the fuck he was trying to be funny. Exactly. Which is good, though. Kind of threw me. It, right. You couldn't tell what... It's like, where, I, I, he keeps going and going. I'm like, yep. okay, where's the end of the joke? And then he's into another thing. And you go, wait a and minute. I was like, well, that last thing passed by. Absolutely. Was it a joke? The Very good, good technique he had, man. Smart, too, because like, the whole thing about like pussy and pussy on my face, that'll go well for Last Comic Standing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks. Way to go, Mark. <laughs> Mark Blackman. Let's hear for Mark, everybody. Oof. And with no further ado, here's Chris Calogero. Calogero. <laughs> Um, America's become frat nation. Got a lot of dudes out there. Bros, right? They're fucking everywhere. They're everywhere and they're fucking loud. Because they think what they're saying is important. Like you're going to see they're cool. Like you can hear them on their phone when you're walking down the street. Just loud on their phone. Like, yeah, dude, I'm walking down the street. Yeah, I was checking my quarterlies 
bro. I killed it on my quarterlies, Jeremy. Jeremy. Jeremy, I'm going to go out and bang a bitch tonight, bro. Yeah, bro. Jeremy. Jeremy, you should come down. If you can't take one down, Jeremy, you're a pussy. Is it necessary to be that fucking loud, dude? What happened to, like, cool guys? Huh? Like, cool dudes like Steve McQueen and Bruce Springsteen, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what these guys? These guys though now, like you bump into them at a bar, like you just bump into them, and they're like, "Dude, bro, you spilled my drink, chief. Chief, you spilled my drink." And I'm like, "Yeah, I know, I spilled your drink. It's 3:30 in the morning. Uh, I'm a little drunk. Uh, the bar's fucking packed, dude. <laughs> Sorry." He's like, "Chief, boss, hoss. I spilled some on my lady though. You got some on my lady." I'm like, really? We're gonna get into a fight? I'm gonna fucking lose because of this shit? This fucking, really? Then there's gonna come a time where you're gonna fucking be like, oh my god, I was an asshole. Like, he's gonna be on his deathbed. And he's gonna be like, why isn't there anybody around my deathbed caring? Does your hand have a stroke? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, the fucking button. It's not, there's no, like, real... <laughs> exactly. ...line and... And Patrice the, is laughing. The, there's a wall. And it should be a car hitting it. <laughs> Patrice is laughing. This guy is funny, man. <laughs> I, 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 there's there's funny just something. Funny, I kind of found it a little funny. It's funny. He's a funny dude. Yeah, yeah I'm this not going to be. I'm not going to be so picky. He's <laughs> funny, man. All right, go, go ahead. Sorry, Chris. That's it. Yeah, Good job. All right. <laughs> I mean, Jesus uh, Christ. Do you want to fucking pry him? My only no 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 no. My only problem is that he looks like Frank Caliendo if he never did comedy. <laughs> <laughs> did pretty good, man. That's Chris. I, I, it was funny, man. All right. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. Because his shoulders moved. <laughs> 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 All right. You guys ready for more show? Yeah. Oh, there you are. Let's hear it for Harry Arton. Harry. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thanks. Thanks. Um, gotta get something off my chest. Uh, yeah. You ever uh, be in your bed late at night and suddenly get this eerie feeling there's somebody standing outside your window? Well, that was me, and I'm really sorry about that. Thanks. Um, um, anyway, I'm a recovering. I'm a. I'm a recovering comic. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I just got out of prison. And while I was there, I dropped the soap. The only problem was it was liquid soap, so it took me a while to pick it up. Um, I'm paying my bill last night and I see this money can on the counter it says help fight retarded children I looked at the face in the can and I thought to myself I could take that guy on wow you know three Harry, up, three down. hold on Harry well, you, you, I know it's nerve wracking this is not a great you know, vibe for comedy but <laughs> when, you, when you said I gotta get something off my chest and another comic said your coat you just said yeah <laughs> you should probably address that a little bit. Yeah, you're probably right. All right, that's Thanks. all. Yeah, how long were you in jail for? Huh? Well, you weren't in prison, were you? Were you really? No, I'm serious. How about Wait, I want to hear that too. You are yeah. or you aren't? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> cool. It's a good thing for comedy, though. Dress like Amelia Earhart. <laughs> 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 Get a job at the Adventurers Club at Disney. <laughs> <laughs> yay for Harry Arton. All right. <laughs> yes, yay. And here comes Haley Boyle. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> you guys, I moved to Manhattan from Fairbanks, Alaska. Uh, it's way different here. Back home, we got 10 men for every one woman. I know it sounds good, and we do have a lot of men, but we also have a saying. We say that the odds are good, but the goods are odd. All right, awesome. I think guys are kind of stupid. A joke. They are, they're a little retarded, you know. <laughs> I had this Jack ask him up to me in the bar, a bar the other day. He starts talking to me, and then he says to me, You know, no one's ever been able to make me come from a blowjob. Like, my response would be, Oh, please, <laughs> can I just try? I just... <laughs> I know I can do it if you just give me a chance. Uh, uh, <laughs> this is awesome. This is really cool. <laughs> for the delay. It's going well for me. It's going really well. I smoke a lot of pot. 
probably one of the reasons I'm having a little trouble right now. But I end up watching a lot of television. I see all these public service announcements warning you not to get high. You've seen them, little fella. I saw him the other day with a kid, maybe 10 years old, and sat down at a desk in his bedroom, cut open five cigarettes, and started rolling them all into one big fatty. And then the announcer came on, and he was like, smoking one joint is the equivalent of smoking five cigarettes. Whoa. I don't know about you all, but that really made me think. I, guess I wish I could roll like that when I was his age. It's a talented little thing. Oh, boo! <laughs> that was an excellent joke! <laughs> yeah. What? You want more? Yeah. Uh, don't fucking uh, turn to me. Start heckling. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I would don't catch give me you. shit. <laughs> That's all right. Ahead. My parents aren't listening. All right. Uh, okay. I was trying to find a day job, and I interviewed at this restaurant, and the chef was like, can you cook? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, seriously, can you cook? And I was like, sir, seriously, I can cook. And he was like, miss, I don't think you understand. I could cook you a meal that would have you on your knees. And I was like, whoa, buddy. <laughs> He wants to be real here, okay? <laughs> he wouldn't have to cook me dinner. <laughs> totally unnecessary. Um. Oh. Hey. Comments? Oh, is comments? Is it as cold as they say in Alaska? <laughs> <laughs> How long are you doing comedy? Uh, uh, four years. Okay. You seem bothered. You all right? What? You seem bothered. Can <laughs> we get our yeah. mic? I got a weight problem. Oh. Sorry, sorry. You got a weight no, problem? I sweat a lot. I just have a weight problem. Oh. Chunky girls sweat. Okay. It's, why is that? It's like it's like a, <laughs> like a blubber layer insulation. Oh. No. My body temperature is higher. It's like higher. Okay. Yeah. That's the ability cool. to survive in colder temperatures. It's yeah. Awesome. It's really worth it. She's probably funny when you're in front of an audience, too. It's, just a, it's a, again, it's a weird situation, but you can tell she's just kind of like a yeah. kind of shitty attitude. Which is, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like that. It's good, it's good for a cut. You were trying to get up this morning? Fucking oh, yeah, miserable. Of it's good. I like Comics that. Are not no one even people. told me what I was coming here for. I got met at the door by a dude in a trench coat who was like, what are you here? And I was like, I have no idea, wow. to be honest. All right. It's all right. All right. Very don't good. Sweat, send me, don't sweat it. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Haley. myself for that. Yeah. Haley Boyle, everybody. Woo! Coming up next, a uh, regular in clubs all over New York City. It's Bob DeBono. All right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Where's Bob? He, he was here, right? Bob, <laughs> he by was. the way, if anybody, you know, Bob, he's the guy that does the Voss impression. Oh, really? And he does Louis Ferrando. I wish Louis was famous. This fucking stupid De Bono would, would be... He, no one does a better impression of Louis Ferrando than Bob De Bono. He's here. All right, Bob. And he does a good voss, too. Bring him well, I'll do in. voss after his set, I guess, right? What's that? Do you want to Harry Hoffman, he does great. Oh, does he? Yeah. What happened? What, you, what, what happened? Him? Let's hear it for Bob De Bono. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I, uh, I hate the city. I hate living here. It's uh, awful. I hate tourists. Tourists are the worst. They're so friendly, so happy. They always try to come up to you and be helpful. They don't understand our lifestyle. I'm walking down the street yesterday. This woman comes up to me from Arkansas. She's like, hi, how are you? I was walking behind you with our friends here. We noticed you dropped your bottle back there. I'm like, no shit. I was littering. And then I cut her. <laughs> you get road rage living in this city, don't you? Just not even driving, just walking rage. But even in cars, we have rage, and we try to be macho. But see, I'm not really macho. I just try to act macho, because it's like the guy thing to do. So I'm like, drive with this girl a couple of days ago, and this girl's next to me. Someone cuts me off, so I do like the Italian, New York guy thing, you know? I'm like, but you fucking Blake, I'm going to kill you fucking dead. And she's like all nervous. She's like, oh my God, you're going to elevate this situation. I'm why? I'm like, why? I'm not getting out of the car. I'm a pussy. This is where my rage ends, right here. Contained in locked windows and doors. Road rage is only good if you get the last gesticulation in, right? Like the last face, the last word out the window, the last finger. Then you got to drive away before they have time to react, and then you win. It's the only time it's good, right? This guy cuts me off the other day, right? I go up next to him, I do what everyone does. I give him the finger, but then we hit traffic. I was like, this is awkward. Oh, God. And then he's giving me the finger back, so now I'm like, holy shit, now we're tied. And I didn't know what to do, and I'm really immature, and I feel like I had to win, so I'm like, ugh, and he's like, ugh, and I didn't know what to do, so I was just like, ah, and he was like, ah, and I went, ugh, and he was like, ugh, and I was like, fuck, come on, make a phase, we're losing, I don't know what to do. We've been trumped. I have the worst phone ever, don't ever get these phones here, the Razor phones. 
These are awful. These don't even work. They're like they malfunction all the time. Like you hit a one, a two comes out. I don't get all my messages. And every time like I call my ex girlfriend, the moment I say hello, it just clicks off. <clears throat> Awful. <laughs> uh, am I done? Oh, cool. Thank God. I, yeah. I, it, so Not, there was a complete well, lack of any sound from the audience. Um, I, I found it funny. I yeah, found yeah. the uh, road rage stuff is very funny, very accurate. You can't judge a bunch of comedians. You just yeah. can't. You know, you and then just... the uh, the phone thing is very funny. He calls up his girlfriend and it clicks off. It's, 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 it's his girlfriend hanging up on us. Yeah. So it's very right. funny. I, I, and we got to get Bob to do some Rich Voss. Please. Yeah, all right, I'll do some Voss for you. Okay. I can, then I'll do a celebrity doing Voss's material. Ooh. Right. How's that? All right, we'll do Voss first, okay? Okay, loosen up, okay? Okay? <laughs> Look at all these peacocks. Comics, you stink. I have more fucking credits than any of you people, okay? <laughs> My career is going nowhere. I have Patrice O'Neill judging me. <laughs> okay? Big fat fuck. So I should date this homeless woman, right? That was great. When I was done having sex with her, I could drop her off anywhere. <laughs> We're home. <laughs> okay? Look, I would like a bus to run over this stage right now, okay? This is awful. My baby, I just had a baby. Its first words were, I stink. <laughs> Take that diaper off, bitch. Holy shit, I went to Canada. Awesome. These people got attitudes in Canada. This one woman came up to me. She said, you don't understand our European culture. What culture? You live four hours from Poughkeepsie. <laughs> <laughs> He's better than Voss. <laughs> I know. He's actually getting laughs. You want poetry? Go to Soho, okay? This is all oh I got. Oh, my God, dude. It's so Voss. Yeah, that it really is, is perfect. The, 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 the eyes and the head and the <laughs> shitty laughs. <laughs> shitty laughs. <laughs> I just wish Lewis... Frito Lewis, Miranda. Hey, Patrice oh, O'Neill, can I just say something? This guy, you're so great. Can I just say that? <laughs> Do you know Lewis I from to Cal a yeah. with a big black fuck faggot like this. <laughs> <laughs> right, a little Norton, a little sex maniac, and get forced to hack. That would be great. <laughs> I like how he's saying all these things to I me know. as other people, but he yeah. really wants to say them. Hey, like that's, 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 that's why you're going bald, you're impressing Is Bobby really channeling this or what? Okay. Hi, Kerry Hoffman. Do me a favor. I love what you're doing. Patrice O'Neill, I love what you're doing on stage. It's way to be good to you. Call me tomorrow because I won't be here. I'll be in LA. Do you, who do you, now, who's the, who's the uh, guy doing voices? Oh, no, I could do, I'll do any song. Why don't, I could do, like, oh, maybe, why don't you do like, a doorman from uptown now? <laughs> <laughs> I could do like a... Uh, like an old time like celebrity, like a, like a Nicholson doing Voss's material. Oh. All right. Well, I used to uh, date this homeless woman. <laughs> that was great. When I was done having sex with her, I could drop her off anywhere. We're home. <laughs> That's a fucking, you know what? That's a killer Nicholson. That's a, that's a good, that's like doing New Pacino. That's a yeah. good New Nicholson. <laughs> no, but it is. That's a, that's a like, guys do Pacino. New Pacino? People do like fucking Pacino from. Dog Day Afternoon and shit, but Pacino sounds different now. Yeah, the new that's, Pacino that's is Nicholson. very heavy. No, Pacino's like, excuse me, what? You just cost me $6,000 in a new Cadillac. What are you going to do about it, you idiot? You fucking cunt. <laughs> it's got that low, but he used to have that really like, hey, my client, you know, we ain't really like here. Like, <laughs> right. Sal, is that you, Sal, on the phone? Is that you, Moretti? Is that you on the phone? <laughs> uh, Norm McDonald? Uh, yeah, yeah, I try to help my uh, kids with their homework. I'm just, uh, I'm not really good at it there, like, uh, my my son's like, uh, hey daddy, what's a pronoun? I uh, I don't know. A noun that gets paid there. What's a synonym? <laughs> a uh, a bun. What's a what's a what's a homonym there? He's I don't know, still a, doing uh, boss yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got boss All right, boss celebrities doing boss well, Bob material. Bob certainly uh, passes. <laughs> That's good. Very good, good Bob. Job. Yeah. Love the boss. Yep. I go. Hey, Lewis. We gotta have a Voss off, yeah. That's coming in on instant feedback. Voss, Voss off. See who Voss and him? Yeah, absolutely. Rich K from Port Washington. See who does Voss better, Voss himself or Bob? <laughs> you know, Voss hates Bob though. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, right? he can't stand Bob. Oh, really? He does such a good him. Yep. You capture yeah, his is. awfulness perfectly. It is right on the nose, man. Boss is coming in. I think. When he leans over and laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> oh, God, and the bugged awful. out eyes. <laughs> it's horrible. Uh, 
Make sure Bob comes in when Voss comes in next, which I think is next week. Okay. I'll have some kind of Voss off. What, no, what you should do is name, is, the listeners should say who the real Voss is, whether it's me or, or him. That's not a bad idea. All right, cool. I like that. that. Yeah. Slow Steve, down. you're fired. Slow down with coming up with ideas. <laughs> I like that. Did you feel that, too? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got a good idea. No, shut up. By the way, he, he was so comfortable with what just happened the last 15 minutes that he decided he doesn't need to sit with the rest of the comedians anymore. No, no, no. He's oh, sitting on the couch. Yeah, he's over on the he couch. He took the Johnny E. Carson <laughs> couch. <laughs> Anyone else <laughs> notice this? <laughs> <laughs> he is graduated from the bleachers yeah. <laughs> to the couch. <laughs> he promoted himself. You really did. You gotta love it. No, Bob, you were really good. Uh, All right. Come on, Dan. Let's move on here. <laughs> um, let's hear it for Mad Dog Matter. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Some support. Beautiful to be here. I want to thank you guys for being the guinea pigs to the uh, crowd here, and I want to thank you for having your legs spread like Sharon Stone the whole goddamn time. Thank you. Nice job. Don't take no shit from no one. You're a good-looking guy. Of course you get girls. You've got a unique look. You should be proud of it. You don't look like a drug dealer, but you sure as hell look like the drug dealer sidekick. You know what I'm saying? You look like the guy with, where the deal's going down. You're on the couch playing PlayStation, all right? Give me a dime back. Fuck you. I'm playing Madden, all right? I love this guy. He's been heckling everyone. God bless you. You look like Joe Gardner with palsy, all right? Wearing the Giants. <laughs> Goddamn right. I'm going to start soloing. Holler. Woo! Bro, you've got the Giants. God bless the Giants. I sent my cousin a, a Giants jersey a few years ago. He's a big fan. He loves LT. I gave him an authentic LT jersey. So authentic comes with an eight ball of Coke. Come on now. You know what I'm talking about. Bam. All right. Uh, I'm a big fan of sports. Greatest sports game ever. Baltimore Ravens. I figured. What are you going to do? It's named after an Edgar Allan Poe poem. All right? Edgar Allan Poe, the most famous guy from Baltimore. That's beautiful. I don't like poems. I'm not a hippie. I don't like trees or bees. Fuck them. Okay? I'm not into that. But but God bless it. Yeah. Edgar Allan Poe. It's beautiful. Okay? It's, it's unbelievable. That's why it'd be like if New England named themselves after a Stephen King like book. That'd be awesome, right? If New England. Oh. What happened? Oh. I didn't. Enjoy... Oh. What happened? I did kind of enjoy him though. Like he yeah, was. Uh... Yeah. Oh yeah, I could see that. You know. You enjoyed that. <laughs> I did. <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> what the fuck you want from me, Hendrik? Just right away, you're getting fucking fresh. <laughs> <laughs> fucking fresh. <laughs> yeah. It's all, all right. right. Don't worry. Any uh, words for Mad Dog? He looks very confused right now. It's all right, man. I understand it's not gonna be easy. It's cool. Appreciate you liking me, Jim. So. Oh, cool. I, I like you also because you look like Peter Wolf. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> no? I wasn't trying to be funny. I'm trying to hang me out to dry. No, I'm not. A <laughs> little bit, a little bit. No. <laughs> I, love, I love Jimmy. I, no, I was saying I kind of. I'm only kidding, Gene. I, I don't think your car crashes were unjustified at all. Oh, okay. No, no, I didn't mean that you shouldn't have crashed him. I was saying there's something about it that I enjoyed. First of all, I am not just the sole judge here. I look around, um, and I'm taking a... <laughs> no, you're not. You're not poll, looking around. Um, I look around. I see Patrice. <laughs> I see Jimmy. You're, I see Ope. Like, like Jimmy said the earlier, audience. Your, your hand had a stroke. <laughs> no, like, the, before, but, but that was something that just was, <laughs> you, was all right. feeling it. All right, you were feeling it. All right, let's go. All right, she was a wonderful sport before on the Opie and Anthony show. Yeah. Let's hear it for Shelly Hamilton. Yay! She's got some uh, credits. She was on the Opie and Anthony show. Thank you. Yeah, you might remember her from the Opie and Anthony <laughs> show. <laughs> she appears on the show. Yeah. Uh, Rachel fucking Ray is everywhere, and I don't know why. Everywhere, barking for shitty products. They, they made her the spokesperson for fucking Dunkin' Donuts. America runs on Dunkin'. Why? Why? Because you're kind of fat and chipper. Shut up, you chubby cunt. Get out. Like, she's everywhere. And, like, she's like the Walmart of people. Like, she's everywhere and she's 24 7. And you know that shit's not right. But I guess sometimes you need deodorant at 3 o'clock in the morning. And sometimes you need an annoying shrew to teach you how to make a fucking pizza. Great. But, like, but people support, like, I guess somewhere somebody supports her. Like, men, men want to fuck her. There are men that are attracted. Okay, I'll tell you. Wait. I'll tell you why men are attracted to her. She is attainable. She's not that pretty. She's not real smart. She's a little chubby. These guys don't have the balls to go out and get a fucking stripper. But Rachel Ray will probably fuck you. She won't say anything about your tiny little penis. And then when she's finished, she'll roll off with you and then go make a casserole and vacuum the uh, the living room. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just not on board. Like, this little this version of, like, 50s little woman with a martini at the door. How was your day? We burned our bras. Knock it off. 
She's just another fucking example of somebody we have to support because of Oprah. Now I can't vote for Obama. I can't vote for Obama because of Rachel Ray. I can't support Obama via Rachel Ray because of Oprah. How's that for a fucking celebrity daisy chain? It's like six degrees if you're an asshole. So, thanks. That was a good... I like what? that one. I, she only got two. Yeah. She only should have got one. She only got two. Yeah, I like I like that. I like that. Yeah, do I have to good, pull man. one back? <laughs> no, I mean, you know. I think you, do, I think you should. Back. I think you yeah. should. I think you did a great job. I think you should do a replay. Shut up, you chubby cunt was, was good. Yeah. I wouldn't do that one if you, you know, last time I was standing, but it was, I, it was enjoyable. Mm hmm Yeah. She's only doing comedy six months. Yeah, yeah. see? That's very good. She has a... Uh, but don't go something. after Rachel Ray. Just don't go there. Yeah. <laughs> 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 don't go there. <laughs> Coming next is Angry Bob. Oh. Now, you're probably wondering what the Travelocity Gnome is doing here. And when did he swallow New England? <laughs> well, anyway, I saw a lot of great comics today, but Angry Bob's the only comic you can see here who has his own clothing line. Stain stinky and ain't getting laid. See this beautiful outfit here. This did very well during the holidays. We like to call this little number burritos at 4 a.m. while masturbating the reruns of Punky Brewster. <laughs> 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 And for this week only, you get one free coupon to stop an Amber Alert anywhere in the country. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to ruin your evening. I am a little chubby. But I don't mind being fat. It works with me. I like to eat. But once in a while, this morbid obesity plan just doesn't work out very well. Remember a few years ago? Remember that tsunami? Remember that? That was me. You get in the bathtub a little too quickly. <laughs> Water goes over the edge, and all of a sudden Sumatra is misplaced. And you know what was worse? I rolled over, I scratched myself, and Pluto's not a planet anymore. That's weird. Now I'll tell you something. I'm thinking of doing something about it. I think I'm getting the operation. You know, everything's an operation now. You know, you don't want to be a chick. You could be a dude. You don't want to be a Republican. You could be a Democrat. They remove your soul. But now they got the fat operation. They got, I think they take your stomach out and put broccoli in its place. <laughs> I went to the doctor, though, and the doctor said, this is fucked up. He said, I'm too fat for the fat operation. That's fucked up. That's like they're doing too pregnant to give birth. Can you imagine that? Well, Mrs. Lipschitz, you know you're not going to pass that bold anytime soon. But who knows, in 18 years, you can start charging rent. Oh, Stop before it's hot. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Thank you. Just... God. Fucking! <laughs> I like Angry Bob. Yeah, Angry he Bob. was good, Angry man. Bob. He was good, dude. You got anything for him? Well, I think it's, it's cool that, like, I think you're very lucky that you picked Angry Bob because you kind of come off as angry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Worked out. Thank you. That's it. You should change no. your name to <laughs> Less Stress Bob yeah. and fucking just say the same things without screaming in your face. Well, I was trying aneurysm free, Bob. <laughs> I enjoyed Bob. Yeah, Bob. Well, That's right. Oh. Angry Bob, everyone. That's right. Bob looks like he should be fried. <laughs> Watch out, he's angry. He's, he's angry. Yeah, don't get on his bed, Whoa, side. Hey, oh, he's, oh, he's not moving Jewish. fast, Bob. I'm, I'm gonna stay over here. I'm tentative, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> that is stupid parade. I hope the All fucking right. Cloverfield monster comes in. <laughs> Just did. <in>. Fucking. <laughs> Fucking idiots! <laughs> <laughs> God damn, Jimmy! <laughs> Coming up to the stage is Rondell Hartley. Oh, yeah. 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 Rondell. Yeah. yeah, black dude. All right. Um, I got a scar on my face, um, which is not weird. I'm used to it, but like little kids think I'm a pirate, and um, like. Other people think I've been in jail, but women love it, though, because they think that I'm dangerous and mysterious. And I tell them that I'm not dangerous and mysterious. The guy who cut me is dangerous and mysterious. <laughs> and it's weird, though, but, like, I've never been locked up before, but I was arrested uh, when I was 17 years old. And um, the worst part about it is it was in a small town. That's why I hate small towns, is I hate when they use, like, big city lingo. Like, the cop arrests me. He's like, all right, we're going downtown. And I'm like, the police station's right across the street. What the fuck are we going downtown for? It's right there. So, um, but I did, I did visit a friend of mine once. 
My buddy Ricardo was locked up, which was cool visiting him, but like the first thing he did when he saw me was hug me. You know, it's like, hey, what's up, man? I was like, cool, man, stop hugging me. That's what's up. You know, and then he kept hugging me. Then I had to say something to him again. I'm like, look, man, uh, can you hug me from the front? God damn it. I did not come out here for this. Then he's getting mad at me. He's like, I'm saying it's hard in here, son. I'm like, I know it's hard. It's on my back. Get that shit off my back. <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, it's Black History Month. Michael Jackson's re-releasing his Thriller album, which is great. That's when I used to love Thriller. Like, you know, Billie Jean beat it, you know, back then when he was Dominican. So um, <laughs> it's just a cool thing. I just don't like the white woman he turned into. That's the only thing I don't like about him. So. That's it. That's all I got. <laughs> oh, yeah. He was done. Yeah, okay, went under, under the wire there. Well, the uh, for Rondell, I say obviously I, I know Rondell. Yeah. Um, and I know he's a very uh, he's a qualified good comic. I've seen. Of I've seen. He it, he's one of the few guys I've seen yeah. in front of real audiences. I like this, the fact you open talk about the scar. I never saw. I never saw you do that before. It's good. Who? who why did the guy cut you? Do you ever say? Uh, exact. Women, some oh, chicks. Okay. He was doing comedy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. And I like that. Oh, I'll Rondell. All right. And finally, our headliner for today. That's not it? Oh, we, that was awesome. We got one more. Adam. Yes. Very talented intern Adam, everybody. We had Angry Bob, now we have thank Asexual you. Adam. <laughs> hey, thanks for breaking my spirit yes. earlier, guys. I really appreciate it. But, uh... Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I'm from Michigan. Uh, yes, I am. Um, and so this is my first time in the big city. Um, and when I first got hired as an ONA intern, I was pumped. I was ready to carpe the fucking diem, man. I was, my life's going to change. This is going to be my big break. Oh, uh, you know, my life is actually changing. Uh, one coffee, breakfast run, and club soda Kenny tongue lashing at a time. Um, you know, my, my friends always talk. Uh, and they always say, uh, they always, they always say, uh, you know, what's it like in the Big Apple? This is, um, you know, it's, it's so great. And I go, and, and they say, you must be living the dream. And I go, well, if you want to call living the dream, um, buying a plain toasted bagel in Canada Dry every fucking weekday at five in the morning, then huh, I guess I'm living it. <laughs> That's a little jab uh, on me. A lot of inside show reference. Yeah, it's good. Inside Best show. comic standing is filmed in the fucking studio. It's good. Um, <laughs> and what's with that elevator? It's slow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. But, but I want to uh, just... Little, things have been pissing me off. The Heath Ledger, um, the Heath Ledger coverage, uh, the press. Um, um, I think it's funny, not that he died, but the fact that the masseuse tried to call Mary-Kate something like nine times. Anybody knows that to get an Olsen twin over to any place, you just put a bunch of Reese Pieces on the floor. Little E.T. fucking lookalikes. <laughs> Reese Pieces? Reese Pieces! <laughs> what the fuck are, are you Reese trying to rip off Rich Voss's act? <laughs> Reese Pieces. Reese Pieces. Did, did I say it yeah. like that? Um, yeah, wow. you said Reese Pieces. It was... Reese's Pieces. That's probably yeah. better, but I don't think it was quite the wording <laughs> that, as opposed to the collective Thanks. Um, un, unfunniness of the joke itself. But Let's hear it for Adam, sorry. everybody. Yeah. Yeah. And all your comedians. And turn Adam. So we should take a break and uh, pick the five winners, I'm thinking. Oh, yep. there's five winners? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Adam, can we have one question? How long have you been performing, Adam? About, uh, Hold on, buddy. That's not. That's not on. <laughs> How about that one? Yeah. Since about the beginning of uh, the school year, like October. Oh, you're brand new. Yeah. Okay. My only suggestion would be, I know you're kind of playing to the audience just because you're here, but you got what, the stuff you do on stage is the stuff you should have done. Right. Right. I was uh, trying to get a little inside jokes, you know, a little well, inside humor. You know. Yeah. Oh, I, that why? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 so I, I understand it. Thanks, thanks for the yeah. Uh, just this way because we can't see what you really do on stage. Right, right, and uh, which means uh, all right, you. you're gonna be cut. <laughs> all right, it's okay. He's brand, brand new. Brand, mm -hmm. brand. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna take a quick break and then we'll announce the five winners that will go to the front of the line right. for the last comic standing auditions here in New York City. Right? Yep. All right. All right let's go. Where's Stan? Right here. Stan. Stan. All right. So we did. Uh, Car Crash Comedy. I want to thank these guys for coming in early and doing this. Like Jimmy uh, pointed out, it's really, really not easy. 
Next time we do this, we're going to have to get like a live audience. Yeah, we should have done that for those guys. I didn't even know. I saw Rondell last night at the Comedy Cellar. And he goes, what's the address for XM? I'm like, what do you, um, and I told him, I'm like, why? He goes, well, I'm doing that opening Anthony car crash thing for last comic. Like, I had no idea what it was yeah, for. Yeah, we probably should have promoted a little better. Yeah, we, that's kind of our fault, so. Uh, uh, but they still oh. did great, considering that they weren't going to get a laugh from their peers. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's just how it is, though. Yeah. But uh, with that said, we, uh, we have picked five guys. And, and Than's got the results. Yes, and if you could just come in when your name has been called. That would be awesome. Uh, the five winners are Chris Calogero. Hold on. Yeah, we'll do one at a time. Yeah, that's, this is an exciting thing. Yes, Chris. Yes, yay. Thanks, Chris. Thank you. Cool. Congratulations, Chris. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Um, people thought he sounded like our AAF tape. Uh, with all <laughs> brothers and dudes and brothers. Yes. Man and... No, I saw job, a, little, a little Dane influence in him. Yeah. I'm not saying that bad. You like Dane? Oh, I appreciate. Yeah, I, I, I like him. I appreciate him. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so you're going to the front of the line. That's a wonderful prize. <laughs> yeah, cool. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks. Exactly. <laughs> Saves you a couple hours on the street, I guess. <laughs> you get to cut in front of the guy who's sitting there in a lawn chair with a blanket in his lap. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, congratulations, Chris. Thanks, dude. I appreciate it, man. All right. Next, Bob DeBono. Oh, Bob, you got to accept as Rich Boss, though, okay? <laughs> This is the stupidest thing I have ever done, ever, okay? Performing for you idiots. This show stinks. Oh, he sounds like fucking idiot boss. He really does. Right? That's my best impression of a hack. I can't you, do any of this. You should do that on the audition for a moment. I wouldn't be right? all set like that, but he was on the show. I sent it when he had that baby. I was going to send him an email with like baby names, like, uh, you know, like for the baby, like open mic or like baby hack. <laughs> Dude. I, I, I want to do anything, you know? He also sounds like fucking, I'm having a brain fart, uh, to Who? play Chaplin. Robert Downey Jr.? Holy yeah? shit, oh, I, does he sound I get like that Robert. a lot. You do, right? And I, yeah, Holy I do. shit, do I hear that. Robert Downey Jr. Huh. Yes, thank you, Jim. And then I get I really Kevin James lookalike. Huh? Huh? Oh, a little, a little bit of that. Of yeah, who? Kevin James lookalike. Call me well, fat, thanks. Well, if you get, you'd have to be fatter. <laughs> But I used to be a lot heavier. I was a like big. Did you look more dude, like him? Or did yeah. it go away? I show you, you my fat? license. You'd be like, "Holy shit!" Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm looking more like Robert Downey Jr. Drugged out. <laughs> All right, very good. Congratulations, my Thanks, friend. Thanks, Bob. Yeah. Thanks, Bob. Next, <laughs> comics are starting to care less and less out there. <laughs> you you okay, couldn't be less enthusiasm. All right, let's get it. Uh, our next winner, Shelly Hamilton. <laughs> God, you, you couldn't even fucking pull it together. Oh, no, I couldn't. There she is. Shelly Thank Hamilton, you. congratulations. Thanks, I appreciate it. Yeah, these uh, these guys thought you were funny. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. Thanks for the opportunity. And she's cool. uh, done comedy for six months, so. Yeah. Six months. Yeah, yeah she's 28, yeah. starting a little late, going to need some mentoring. I know. <laughs> oh, oh, is that enough? She's going to need to move along a little quicker than usual. Yeah. And if she started at 20, so. Yeah. <laughs> two more years is, ain't a spring chicken anymore, you well, little yeah. tramp. The so tits think about drop it. at some point. So Take your integrity and fucking put it in the closet for a couple <laughs> of years. That's right. <laughs> Maybe big boy here, get you a couple of spots, get you ahead of a lot of lines there, there, right. pumpkin right. puss. Right. You go out there. Hey, I know. And you shave and you get your shit it. together and <laughs> shave that little fucking alternative twat you got and then we'll fucking <laughs> oh shit <laughs> your little Janine Garofalo bush I know you got down there that's you're a fair fucking guess. making your decisions eight to ten years late in your life let me help you out <laughs> direct you in a <laughs> get you going in the right direction dear precious cause oh. you got something on the ball here's a Oh, Weird cuteness about you. <laughs> it is. There's something going on you there. You can see it through all the hair. It's oh, good. I can it's see good. it with that false the confidence. Crazy. But I know there's something you cry about in the mirror. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like a second. Fucking trying That's to be cool hat and that giant head. <laughs> I know. God oh. damn it, cutie pie. You're making Thank me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Or not. Like, thank you. I don't know it. Wow. You did good, sweetheart. Yes, you did. Yeah. However, yes, you did. He is hitting the proverbial nail on the head. <laughs> but you were good. Six Delicious. months in, you fucking got you got funny stuff. Thank you. Yeah, mm. Shelly Hamilton. She is sexy. Good. Look at him. Yeah. Yeah. Boy. You know, <laughs> black men are the only ones that like you. Uh, <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's the feedback oh. saying it's coming in uh, a lot. <laughs> That Bob uh, DeBono sounds like Joe Rogan as well. Does he? I didn't even notice mm -hmm. that. Joe Rogan as well. Could be, yeah. Oh. yeah right. Well, we got one more there, Than. Two more. Next is Rondell Hartley, everybody. Rondell! Rondell! Yay! Yeah. Yeah. 
thank you, Anthony, for allowing one to get through. <laughs> right. Since you're not going to vote for Obama, Ron, you voted win, for him. Yeah, thank you. This, then. Oh, it's thanks like, a lot, guys. Uh, a comedy show or the presidency. Yeah. Uh, all right, I'll vote this one. Rondell, how hard was it to perform in front of like your peers like that, just like knowing you're not going to get a laugh from them? Uh, it was a little nerve-wracking, just, you know, just scared, but you just got to still go through it and just, you know, get up there and do it. That's all. It's right funny, on. you know? It's funny materials. You sit in front of fucking people like this, you know, what the fuck do they give a shit? Yeah, they don't they care. Don't care. <laughs> they don't <laughs> no, care about you. <laughs> they just want yeah. themselves through. <laughs> Good job. All right, thanks a lot, guys. All right, Rondell. Thanks, Rondell. Take care, buddy. All right, here it is. And our final winner of a spot at the front of the line for yeah, the last comic standing audition. Don't, don't get the disappointment uh, out the glass there, Sam, with your fucking camera. Just point it at an empty mic. There's one person left, and there's a room of people. Try to get some kind of disappointment. There's a dynamic you're looking for here. Sam really... He just leaned it on his leg and pointed it at the empty fucking mic, waiting for someone to walk in the frame. <laughs> some direction. I'm trying to position, because you, you complain about shaky cam. So I'm trying to. Well, I've never right complained about more. shaky cam. How about, how about a fucking pan? Oh my. So what he's saying is this: I'm being incompetent because you complain about my other incompetence. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, yes. 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 Uh, yes. Most watch. Yes. It's the big friggin' last guy here. You know? Aim the camera right, Sam. <laughs> 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 All right. Than, if you will. And our final winner is Angry Bob. Everyone. Oh, Angry there Bob. It is. Don't make a walk Angry in. Bob. Look, yes. how dis look how disappointed. I know. You know, you saved it for the last, so you know I'd have like a heart attack or something, you know? Not a fat joke. That's good. No, yeah. it's, a, it's a heart attack. <laughs> I like looking at him through the glass. It was kind of fun. Yeah, that was <laughs> fun. When I was a kid. <laughs> it's supposed to be filled with water, though. Let's ring a bell to commemorate uh, Mad Dog's shape. <laughs> is it, dog is, is it Mad Dog Bob. or Angry? angry it's uh, oh, fucked up. No, no, no. <laughs> angry, angry Bob, Patrice. I'm sorry, wow. Angry. That's okay. That's okay. But you was getting them, dude. That's you got to eat a lot to support that kind of weight. Oh, God, you don't know that. No, I have to I shit a lot, too, which is really fucked up, you yeah. know? I mean, those low-flow toilets kill me, man, you know? I got to get, like, knives in there. It's really fucked. It's disgusting, you know? Yes, he it is. He died of <laughs> cholesterol, Sam. <laughs> Sam. His heart quit. <laughs> it wasn't murder. <laughs> <laughs> and do you do that? What's the long... What's, what's your time? Like, how long, how long do you stand on stage? You do, like, 20, uh, 20 minutes or something? No, I, I feature. I could, do, I could do 30, 35 minutes. And you do 35 minutes Well, screaming? I got to, like, lean a little bit. Maybe, you know, a little... But you're Indian screaming style. on what, the Tower of Pisa? Uh, yeah, I get this little pause, you know? <laughs> <laughs> hey, angry man! Listen, Tower, from one fat Tower guy to pizza. another, <laughs> yeah. you can be angry without being fucking angry, dude. Uh, is this we? We're having a moment or oh, something? We're trying. Sorry. You don't have to. You. You're trying. Have you want to be an asshole, yeah, motherfucker? Yeah, I'm trying to. With your fucking, uh, <laughs> fucking the woman from Far Side glasses, you fucking asshole. <laughs> Hey, these uh, came with the hat. I gotta wear them, you know? Oh, <laughs> cheap. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Angry Bob did good, man. He did oh, good. Yes, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And he didn't take no shit. God bless him, Angry no. Bob. Right. It was an honor. Thank you, guys. See Thank you, Bob. So take we'll care. We'll see you soon, uh, Bob. And, and, good job. And thanks to everybody else that wasn't uh, picked for getting up early. Yeah, thanks to the rest of you guys for Doing coming. their thing. Doing their thing. Uh, All right. Dude. Who's the guy with the big ears? You didn't go on, dude. <laughs> I'm here to see the show. What? Hi, All right, cool. Hi, hi, hi. He's actually out. He's having an, e an evening out. Yeah. yeah. Just a fan. Well, let's get That's lying. Nice. You young. explained him as the guy with the big ears didn't go on. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I, <laughs> well, how could he hey, not? Yeah. <laughs> He'd have to bring it up right when he gets up there. Yeah, I got big ears. Go ahead, people. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Who's Whoa. this guy with the big ears? You know, when I was a kid. <laughs> all right, shut up. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. <laughs> no, you don't. You make me sick. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say that. <laughs> you're looking at me like, this guy must get... No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> you make me sick. Oh, you got big ears? Oh, yeah. all right, well. <laughs> hey, I heard that. I hear everything. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I bet you do. Die. Uh, Jesus Why are we Christ. trashing him? He's not a comedian. 
<laughs> and he was very funny. You know what, though? Our, motherfuckers, he's a listener, man. <laughs> motherfuckers call people me, but no one was getting, no one. It was and you know how we are, man. Yeah, yeah. It was no fun. one was being me. Yeah. No. Fucking, I'll give no. you that. Line of the day. SkiColoradoNow.com oh. for info on great deals at 26 world-class resorts. Up to the minute snow conditions. Log on to SkiColoradoNow.com. Here is a runner-up line of the day. They always say, uh, you know, what's it like in the Big Apple? This is, um, you know, it's it's so great. And I go, and they say, you must be living the dream. And I go, well, if you want to call living the dream, um, buying a plain toasted bagel in Canada Dry every fucking weekday at 5 in the morning, then huh, I guess I'm living it. Yeah. yeah, he was going after Ant. That's uh, Ant's breakfast. That's order. what I get every, every morning. Yeah, way to go kinda, inside. We just uh, enjoyed. Sorry. Sorry. We enjoyed the big gulp. I like the big <laughs> yeah. nervous yeah. gulp in there. That is a good one. That's it. <laughs> uh, pack down those nerves. <laughs> oh. It's kind of natural though. Adam, get, yeah. Oh, okay. Get on Mr. that, Mr. Fabersham. <laughs> I will not go for that bagel. <laughs> not go for that bagel. I'm watching you. Watching me? Yeah. You're now officially what is called on the radar. Yeah. You were way under the radar. Yeah, we didn't yeah. even know your fucking name, what you did, if you were an intern or some fucking well, whatever. I did interrupt Opie uh, when he was in the middle of a sentence uh, my first day. <coughs> yeah, but you don't even understand. You To you, that's like this moment. To right. us, I don't fucking remember that from anything. Don't even right. remember it. We've had but it. now you're on radar. Yeah. Okay. Now we know who you are. We know how weird you are. And we're going to keep an eye out for it. And... Uh, you know, you might be called in here. Uh, you might be called out. I'm gonna figure you when, out when shit happens. I think I gotta figure it out. I just gotta break you. You're a wordo. Yeah, I'm gonna break you. You're just a wordo. Well, <laughs> if this is a schoolyard, I'd punch you. <laughs> well, thank you. If it's a schoolyard, he'd shoot all of us. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. Am I right, right or wrong, guys? High fives. Hey, all around. All around. Yeah. Uh, another runner-up line of the deck. You know what? Uh, also, I, I think oh, yeah. I don't think Barack's uh, uh, camp really thought this out mm -hmm. you shouldn't have a black guy with a sign in front of him that says change <laughs> oh shit we, we see it every day on the oh, streets oh my god that was it's geniusly <laughs> racist right there thank you for that was trace. almost prodigy like racism <laughs> we uh we were slow on that one we were all slow on that one that's we why i had to say we see it on the streets every day i didn't want to tag it with we that we were slow Jeez. we just wanted people to slowly get it we should have reacted to that one uh, we right. we missed that one i didn't get it that was a brilliant line i should have no one Jimmy. could be mad well, not even I, th I thought he was going for completely racist i thought you were going for a serious angle and uh double ACP will get they a have chuckle. To go. That was a good one. That was pretty good. <laughs> we thought you were going serious. We didn't know you were going for joke. Oh, and then it was like, wow, no. good joke. Thank Here's you. a uh, the last runner-up line of the day. Go. <laughs> it's right, it's yeah. something with the speech, really. <laughs> yeah. It's something with the speech. speech. Your yeah. S's uh, come out very effeminate. And the hand on the hip it. and the fucking and the tight yeah. the, and the, the tight jeans, jeans and the, and the tight jeans. 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 There is just something going on. But what's your girlfriend's name? Jesse. Laura. <laughs> yeah, Laura. Laura. You dress like a runaway girl. It's <laughs> 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 that is classic. That, that really described it to a T. It certainly girl. did. It's like some old fucking after school special where she gets off the bus dressed like that, looks around the scary city. I'm still listening to your fucking change thing. It's not even. You, you, you can't even laugh at it. You gotta go. Oh shit! <laughs> Wait a minute. Why did they do that? That was pretty fucking goddamn funny, man. That was good. <laughs> I'm impressed. Oh, fucking yeah, you know, genius racist. <laughs> All right, we're going for the quick out today. Patrice, thank you so much. Thank you, man.